cherished by succeeding generations. And we thank the people of Knifemagen for helping to preserve that history. We're privileged to stand here today with heroes like Colonel Maggie McGillis, who is weight making his way to join us, and others who took part in the action that helped return freedom to a treasured ally. So today, some 65 years later, we honor those men who gave the last full measure of devotion on that day. We pay respects to those veterans of the Wall River Crossing who have left us since then, and we say thank you to those who are here today and to their families. As the son of a Dutch sea captain, as I mentioned, the former commander of the 504th Parachute Infantry Regiment of the 82nd Airborne Division, and as a former commander of the 101st Airborne Division that liberated Eindhoven down the road, this day has particular significance for me. And I can testify that the bridge between America and Holland still stands and that it is as strong as ever. Indeed, I say that having served with Dutch soldiers in the Cold War, in Haiti, in the Balkans, in Iraq, and now in Afghanistan. I can affirm that the strength of that partnership and the enormous respect America's men and women in uniform hold for their partners from the Netherlands with whom they serve shoulder to shoulder in important missions in tough places remains as strong as ever. And today, again, we recall a moment in history in which true heroes helped return to the people of Holland the gift we have sought to protect ever since the greatest gift of all, their freedom. Thank you well. Airborne, thank you very much. A simple hello and so on. <laughs> of course, the crossing of today differs very much in comparison with the one 65 years ago. First of all, there's no shooting enemy at the other side, and the traffic was not so heavy as today. In 1944, they started at 3 p.m. in 26 small rowboats. Only 13 returned for the second attack. The loss was severe, but not in vain. At 7 p.m., the Waal Bridge was recaptured from the enemy. Dames en heren, jongens en meisjes, jullie weten hoe belangrijk de crossing, de oversteek was in de operatie Market Garden, die zijn familie totaal verbouwen in het achter. De, over, de oversteek van vandaag verschilt zeer met die van 65 jaar geleden. Er is geen vijand aan de overheid, die, aan de overzijde die schiet en het verkeer op de rivier was toen een schim van wat er nu voorbij. In 1944 <coughs> trok de eerste van de 26 roeiboten om drie uur. Slechts 13 keerden terug voor een tweede oversteek. De verliezen waren groot, maar niet te vergeten. Ze will be the handing of the special gift. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You will soon find it out. Then after that, there will be a word by Mr. James Magallis, one of the crosses. And Mr. Huge will say a prayer, but they have to arrive. After that, we will have the last post, and as you probably know, the last post is a salute, and we are all standing up then. Dames en heren, straks wordt de last post gespeeld, en dan is het gebruikelijk dat wij allen gaan staan. Ik zal u daarbij een heel klein centje geven. We wait for the crosses to arrive. Oh, it's one of them to pull out. Huh? 
this is no problem. Actually, this is for the chair. Oh. Thank <laughs> you. 